Okay, so it seems like based on your Instagram responses, uh, the responses to my story, it seems like you can actually have a SQLite database on a device. And I think that actually helps us quite a lot because if we can have a SQLite database uh, running on an iOS device locally uh, or on an Android device locally, then we can do some things that are a bit better. Uh, now, I don't quite remember why it's better. I know that it's a lot better at filtering things like this. I've also never really used... Oh, I look so tired. I actually slept really good last night, so yeah. Um, either way, yeah, we need to figure out how to work with a SQLite database in Flutter and how to get that all to work. Okay, so I think we found the way to go about this. Uh, basically just asked ChatGPT to create these things for the very specific case that I need. And I th think I'm going to be able to copy pretty much everything that uh, it has created. It probably won't work straight away because it usually doesn't. So now I think I just need to copy this and figure out uh, the specifics of my actual use case. A lot of this is just like repetitive tasks of just recreating the same thing for all the different things that I need. And instead of doing that personally, I could just ask ChatGPT and ChatGPT does almost all of it for me the way that I want. And I don't have to like Google someone else's uh, solution to it where they are going to have their specific use case and then I have to figure out, okay, uh, how do I replace what they wrote with what I need? Here I can just essentially ask it to write what I need and then I just need to uh, fix whatever bugs show up. I don't know which way is more optimal, but I, think, I do think this helps me be a lot faster. All right, so I'm not really doing this the best way possible because ChatGPT just writes so much code for me and I kind of forget about testing things. Right now I've written out a new task class, a new tag class, a new project class uh, that is all based on the now SQLite uh, or SQL format, which the database will be. Uh, so that it should work with that in the right way. And we've also created the database helper, which should then create uh, these tables in the proper way. Now, this is a lot of code and uh, yeah, I guess I've never really been that great at just creating like writing one line of code, testing it, writing the next line of code, testing it. So now I've written a lot of code and I haven't tested any of it. So, um, yeah, we'll see if this works. All right, so it seems like we can insert into the table because the first one we got the ID of one, the second one we got the ID of two, and if we run it again, we'll get an ID of three. 
this is basically the code that we're running uh, here. So we're opening the database, so we get the instance of a database, and then we create a project, and then we add that project into uh, the project ID. The thing is, we probably want to, I'm not sure if we want to create a update, insert, and delete, I think. Oh my god, like ChatGPT is such a life hack. Like I basically just asked it to create the create, read, update, delete, but it actually also added the get all projects uh, function so we can get all of them, uh, which is really good. So now we have get all projects, get project by specific ID, and then delete project and update project. All right, so let's just add these ones. All right, so it's 9 a.m. right now, and this is my breakfast. And uh, it's actually something that I think is kind of a life hack, which has been for me to get rid of a lot of like morning routine type of things and just start working as soon as I wake up and then I work until nine. And then instead of having like a full proper breakfast, I just have this smoothie, which sometimes I will make that the evening before so I can just take it out of the fridge. And if I take it out of the fridge and just drink it, it takes almost no time to consume. And also I can actually consume it while I'm working. So I don't actually have to take a break to eat breakfast. And that means that if I take that at 9 a.m., then I can continue working until 12 p.m. And that way I've gotten in almost a full six hours of work from six to 12. And then it's, that's almost like a full day of work before 12. And if you're just joining in uh, to this, new series of me building apps again. It's not a special app of any kind, it's just a time tracking app, which I came up with because I spent a full day when I was super productive, of course, looking for the best app to track my time. And I couldn't find anyone, any app that had the features specifically in the way that I wanted them to have the features. So I started thinking, well, maybe I should make that app. And that is what we're making in this video or in this video series. And yeah, I don't really know where that's gonna go. I wanna try to make more apps as well. And this whole series is gonna be me just basically building all the app ideas that I have until I find something that I think is actually good. And um, we'll see if we can find something. And I think in the meantime too, I think something that's really good about that as a goal is that the byproduct of that is I, I will get really good at creating like MVPs, which I think is a really good skill to have, just being fast at developing a minimum viable product of an app, I think is one of the best skills that you can have. So it's like, it feels like sort of a win-win. I get a lot of videos made. I get videos about me programming. I get to program in a way that I like. I get to make videos in a way that I like. Plus the byproduct again is that I will get a lot faster at making MVPs and going from idea to actual like base product of an app, which I think is really good. So it feels like I can't really think of any negatives with this plan that I have so far. So um, that's what's getting me really excited. And yeah, I'm gonna try to make this new face of this channel a lot more sustainable and uh, I'm gonna do things a little bit differently than I have been doing before. So uh, yeah, that's a bit of a, an explanation for what this whole series is about and what this whole new thing is. But yeah, now let's get back to the back end and hopefully finish this today.
All right, so now it is uh, about 12 p.m. and um, I've now created the, the database, I think, in SQL and I've got everything to work so I can add new things into all of the different tables that I have. I can update an existing entry into a table and I can delete a specific table. I can delete all the tables. I can get all the tables and I can get a specific table. So that is essentially the CRUD operations, create, read, update, and delete. So I've got all those working uh, for the database. Now, this is not very visually interesting because nothing has really happened uh, in the app today, but I've been working now for about six hours or something like that, and I need to get started editing this video now because ideally I should get it out this evening, uh, but possibly it might be tomorrow because I uh, am a bit behind. So I need to get started editing and then we'll see if we can actually continue this either in this video or in the next one. We'll see.